heart of this year's Biennale is Africa and young people. Nigerian choreographer Kudus Onikakus adapted an excerpt of his show to include 16 young amateur dancers from around Lyon for the traditional opening parade. Entitled Reincarnation, it pays homage to Nigerian music, the energy of Lagos and the idea of reinvention and body memory. I was also interested in the, uh, the ways at which um, younger generation dancers are re-embodying knowledge and, uh, and uh, research of the past uh, in a much more contemporary way, even if they don't have a direct educational transmission of that, but there is a way at which the body regenerates itself and remembers. The decision to go ahead with the festival went down to the wire. But the nerve-wracking months have paid off for performers and organizers. It's really the new generation who are challenging themselves and we can see that in the way they dance. And yes, it is very, very energetic. One of the opening shows is Urgence Emergency, performed by five young men who discover dance through their local social centre. A performance of dance and speech that crackles with rage and passion. The emergency is the emergency of being alive. It is this emergency that puts us on a journey, that puts us on our feet. We met so many young people who had already given up. And then we met these five who wanted to find their voice, wanted to tear themselves away, to break free of their shackles. These giant puppets are nearly four meters high and weigh up to 30 kilos. The dancers had to rethink how to move to bring out the puppets' grace and personalities. The puppets can't do everything, but they can do lots of things, and I tried to work with them like the dancers, to work on their possibilities, their strong points. The French talk of an année blanche, a lost year for culture. Well, here at the Biennial de Danse, they're making up for lost time. Culture is back and on a grand scale. Andrea Bolitho in Lyon for Euronews.